it is estimated that there are around like 15 to 20 percentage of the couples are infertile the term what is infertility infertility means when a couple they are having uh, like unprotected sexual intercourse for at least one year but still they are not getting pregnant then uh, this condition is known as infertility and uh, in most of the cases uh, like 80 percentage of the couples the female will get pregnant uh, by six months of unprotected sexual intercourse and 90 percentage of them by the end of one year of unprotected sexual intercourse and also as we all know like the most chance of uh, uh, conception or fertilization is from 11th to the 16th day of menstrual cycle if we take like total case of uh, all the infertility like 20 to 30 percentage of the infertility it is caused due to some problems uh, in the male and around 30 to 40 percentage it is due to uh, problems that is related to the re reproductive system of the females and around like 10 to 20 percentage it is uh, unexplainable cause what is unexplained cause that means like uh, for example we will do medical examination all the medical examination to check what is the reason for infertility but still we can't find the exact reason for this condition then it is an unexplained cause when we talk about the main cause of uh, infertility that is associated with the males then first one it is oligospermia that means very less sperm count that is uh, less than 15 million sperms per 1 milliliter of uh, semen in usual conditions at least uh, 40 uh, million sperms in 1 milliliter of semen is required for uh, like a good fertilize good and easy uh, fertilization but in some males due to some reasons there will be very less sperm count that is less than 15 million the next cause it is uh, as suspermia that means complete absence of uh, sperms in the uh, ejaculate that means uh, th there are like uh, various reasons for this that i will be discussing in this same video another one cause it is uh, related to some psychological disorders for example like uh, as we all know erectile dysfunction or uh, premature ejaculation erectile dysfunction is it is basically as we all know it is inability of the males to like ejaculate the sperms during the sexual intercourse and premature ejaculation it is basically uh, they will ejaculate sperms very early and uh, they they won't be able to uh, put the sperms into the vagina they will ejaculate outside now let's see like what are the main reasons for uh, this infertility conditions so the reason number one it is like old age that means the males who after the age of 40 they in their uh, uh, semen there won't be like uh, uh, sufficient amount of sperms as we all know like in males like even after 90 years of age they can still produce the sperms but the sperms count will decrease but and also like uh, the functions of the sperms it can also reduce for example like uh, for the efficient fertilization of the egg the sperms uh, should be very very uh, motile they should be mor morphologically uh, right some, sometimes the sperms they can have some type of uh, injuries or uh, sperms without a tail or without a body sometimes without a head so uh, for fertilization like uh, the sperms should be very motile uh, morphologically uh, perfect then they should be very viable and uh, the count should be very high so the as the men gets old this uh, this all the like fu functions they keep on decreasing so in the old age the functions of the sperms might not be so good as he was in the in his in young age the second reason can be some type of infections that can affect the testes so there are like some diseases like tuberculosis mumps filariasis and many other infections that can like uh, affect different uh, sperm producing parts uh, in the testes and if this uh, bacteria they will destroy this uh, produce different parts in the testes it will cause uh, decrease the level of sperms in the semen and hence it can affect the sperm production and which can lead to infertility the third reason can be like uh, some surgeries so it is found that uh, some uh, males after uh, having some surgeries uh, some surgeries they are associated with infertility for example if he uh, when he was a child he had some undescended testes and uh, doctors they did surgery to put the testes back or like he had some hydrocele or varicocele or some type of hernia and he did surgery then there is uh, also some chance of uh, causing of infertility in the future the fourth main reason of infertility it can be due to like severe uh, trauma into the testes so uh, as a males like uh, most of the males they had uh, they went through some of the small hit or traumas into the testes but uh, if the trauma or hit is very severe it can lead to like uh, 
hematoma inside the testis which will leads to atrophy and uh, damage of the testis later on it again leads to uh, uh, decrease of sperm production another one main reason it can be due to like uh, chronic alcohol use like uh, consuming little amount of alcohol it is okay but uh, some people who are alcohol addicts who drink lots of alcohol every day uh, as we all know this alcohol can affect all part of the body and even also the testes and which will uh, affect the sperm production and uh, which again also leads to uh, decrease of sperm count and as we all know like smoking it is one of the most detrimental cause of infertility in males and uh, uh, smoking even like small uh, numbers of uh, smoking cigarettes daily it again drastically affect the uh, number of uh, sperm production their motility their function transportation their fertilization all these uh, functions can be affected by the smoking even the smoking it again also leads to erectile dysfunction so these are the main reasons of uh, infertility in males and also in some cases like lack of knowledge can also cause infertility for example if the man he he is uh, having sexual intercourse uh, with uh, his partner and he don't know like uh, how to do sexual intercourse where to ejaculate what to do then uh, sometimes it can also leads to infertility so for these couples even like if one uh, psychological counseling is more than enough for uh, conceiving for these people like sometimes uh, they are uh, very shy to tell about this situation they go to the hospital and do this all infertility test and uh, they won't they won't find the main reason for it and and all that uh, they needed it was just a small counseling with that they could conceive